Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to some of the country's biggest stars and some of my favourite people. And we've got one for you today. Jeff Brazier, how are you? Yeah, really good. Yourself? Do you know, I am good and it's lovely to talk to you. I mean, you've got that sort of thing about you that you do classy stuff and you're incredibly credible. Well, I take part in things that I think that I'll enjoy. Um, the, the last thing of that nature, I, I, it was the SAS, to have Who There's Wins for Channel 4. Mm. I really enjoyed that, the most incredible experience. But generally, everything's going really well with me. I work for BT Sport and doing their results show at present and I've just started working for Talk Sport as well. So football seems to be the direction that I'm heading in. Yeah, and again, it's been such an interesting year for you with the Jade stuff and all of that. The reaction, I thought, was astounding to that Channel 4 documentary. Nobody really expected it, did they? Um, I, I don't know what people were expecting watching it, but it was quite different from my side of, 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 of things, just generally because um, you can imagine there's a lot of things that the, the kids would, would probably really enjoy seeing, and actually there were a lot of things that were probably going to be quite harmful for them to see at the ages they're at. So mm. actually, as a family, we took the decision not to watch. Uh, it doesn't mean to say that obviously in the future we won't get around to it. What's your life like as we sit here today? Is it 99% joy with the kids? How do you move forward? Because with any sadness or tragedy, the hardest thing is waking up in the morning wanting to live for today, isn't it? Uh, yeah, no, I, uh, I, I consider my life to be incredible, actually. And, um, and I think the children have some incredible uh, opportunities ahead of them. They've, they've had fantastic childhoods, but for the, the traumatic um, you know, uh, part of, of it, 11 years losing their mum. So, mm. um, so yeah, we, we, we manage uh, their grief, um, that they have um, grief therapists and, and that helps them to express and to stay on top of that and to keep it in a good place. Um, and as a result, no, I, I think we're in fantastic shape and, and obviously now they're getting a little bit older. I've got one who's just started work or an apprenticeship. Uh, the other's got two years left at school and, and, and yeah, they're just they're fantastic kids and, and as I say, I, I think they've, they've got a lot to look forward to in the future. Is it a bit strange when you sort of have two babies and then one day you walk in the house and it's like living with two men? Because that's basically what they are at this point, isn't it? Uh, yeah, they are both taller than me now. So, um, <laughs> so, so yeah, I have to be careful what I say. Um, but, but no, do you know, it's, it's amazing just to see your babies turning into men and they're flourishing and they're, uh, everything's in the right place. Their, their manners, their outlook on life, their, their positivity. Mm. Uh, they've got the tools to go and be good people and, and do good things. You're on today talking about this new research by McDonald's about charities and cash. And basically, it's summing up my life. I mean, I don't have cash ever when I'm out and about. And this is a problem for charities, isn't it? Uh, it absolutely is. I mean, uh, uh, buskers and, and homeless people and all the, all the people that used to benefit from us having change in our pocket. Now we have a cashless society and we're using our cards to tap uh, on the machines. And, you know, th those transactions take seconds. Um, but actually, yesterday I was on the underground and uh, a busker was playing a really good tune and I stopped to sort of listen and, uh, and then realised I had absolutely no change in my pocket to, to be able to give. So, um, you know, lots of people are losing out with this kind of modern trend and, and obviously it's not a modern trend that's going to reverse, is it? So um, certain charities are, are absolutely losing out and, um, you know, there are organisations that, however, are taking um, some, some interesting steps forward in order to to remedy the problem. What are they going to do to turn this around? Each individual wants to decide or needs to decide how giving we want to be uh, mm. and in which ways we want to do that and who we want to give to. So there's a lot of choice involved. Um, if we do want to make sure that homeless people and buskers are still, um, you know, uh, provided with enough to, to get some food and a coffee or a busker's case to buy, buy whatever they want, um, then, then, you know, we can purposefully go about making sure that we have that change in our pockets on a, on a daily or weekly basis. Um, I think actually the, 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 the shift in trend is more that there's an onus on um, not just the charities, but the organisations that support the charities, for them to give us the opportunities to donate maybe in a cashless way. Mm. Um, and there's one particular organisation, McDonald's, that have done a fantastic job of that. For 30 years, um, they have been supporting Ronald McDonald House Charities. They're the largest supporter of RMHC via self-order kiosk donations and, and fundraising activities. Now, what it used to be is that you would put your change in a box on the counter. 
Um, that was always the way that they supported the charity. Um, now, obviously, they've got sort of self-order kiosk. If anyone's been in a restaurant recently and you're doing that, you know, you know you're putting the order in yourself. Now, <clears throat> as of last week, they've introduced the option um, for you to be able to round up to the nearest pound or you can donate a penny, 10p or 20p. So it's mm. completely discretional. Um, so it doesn't offend people, I don't think, that they're asked to do it. And I think that, obviously, it also really matters that people know exactly what the charity is that they are donating to. Um, but just, you know, for example, to, to talk figures, in the last seven days since it was implemented in the self-order kiosks in those restaurants, it has raised £126,000. Mm, so you, you, cannot, um, you cannot underestimate how much difference even donating just a penny yeah. um, will make. To Especially on that scale. There. And again, we have to remember that it's not about moral compass. People aren't being tight. It's just that they don't have the cash. So doing it this way is a great way to do it. When you get your McDonald's, you can donate that way to the Ronald McDonald House Charities. Um, before we go, your life now is very interesting. I mean, I see you regularly on the TV on This Morning and Loose Women and things like that. And you're so good at that live TV stuff. How do you keep your nerve? Because it's not easy, is it? Um, I, I, I thrive on the challenge of live, to be honest. Um, I, I think that it's far more exciting because it's just one take. You've got one chance at it. And there's, there's an element of skill involved in being mm. able to um, to talk and think as you go, actually. Yeah. Um, you know, as a radio presenter, you must you must uh, share that skill yourself. But um, as I say, it's lovely that actually I've moved on from, from ITV in daytime and, and gone into something that I'm passionate about, which is the game of football. And um, I'm, I'm doing very well on BT Sport and, uh, and Talk Sport as well. So that, that's what I'm particularly interested in. And using those, you know, obviously it's, it's one of those interchangeable things mm. um, where you're able to, to take everything you've learned over the last 15 years in other, you know, in, in the entertainment industry and then apply it to something that, you, that you're really interested Jeff, in. Jeff, I can tell you if you can work live you can do anything because I think it's the hardest thing in the world especially on TV when there's 15 people screaming down your ear congratulations on everything big fan Jeff Brazer one of our favourite people and find out more by going to McDonald's and donating to the Ronald McDonald House Charities thank you for your time Tom man thank